DC Designer Series, Darwin Cook, Harley Quinn. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to Dawn of Comics. Today I'm going to be unboxing my DC Designer Series, Darwin Cook, Harley Quinn. This is figure number two in the line. No, it's not, it's figure number three. <laughs> I can't read numbers. Um, this is figure number three in the line. And if we look on the back, we've got, um, this is classic Batman. He's even got like the really pointy ears and the basic bat symbol. Um, I don't think he's got purple gloves, but this is a very basic Superman. And then we have Supergirl, which I did in a previous video. She comes with Streaky and Crypto, um, which I got from B&M for $6.99. This Harlequin, also from B&M, $6.99. If I can pick up a Harlequin for six nine nine, you better believe I'm going to pick it up. So um, I've mentioned before, I'm really enjoying this packaging, this box, the square box with the name down the side. I know it's basic, but it's just perfect for stacking and for just keeping them. If you want to keep them in packs, you can stack them easier. If you want to display them, they've got a little hook. So this will just literally go like that and I can just display her on the wall with a single pin so that's fantastic um and they come with a really nice image on the side there darwin cook that i've got that harlequin variant obviously um so i'm going to get her out of the box she does only come with a mallet so this is literally going to be showing you the figure showing you the articulation putting a hammer in her hand because these have the designer series have limited articulation which is good because the figures are so beautiful so i can't wait to get this out so i shall see you in a sec and here she is. She's absolutely stunning. I mentioned it in the Supergirl review. These figures are so well made. The quality is absolutely amazing. They're just so sturdy, so thick. There's nothing flimsy on them at all. I mean, even her hair is really good quality. Um, it's an extra, it's rubber. It's not as plasticky as the rest of the body, but it's a, it's a much higher quality than some of the other figures. It's absolutely beautiful. The face is absolutely lovely i don't i'm not a fan of the bleached skin harley um i prefer pre-new 52 where it was body makeup and face paint i don't like that she's been bleached like the joker i think that's just turned her into a female carbon copy of him so i'm kind of not a major fan of that but this design um i love darwin cook's art no fault to darwin cook whatsoever but i'm not a fan um if you've seen any of my other harley videos you know I'm not a massive fan of the skimpy outfit look I do prefer the full body coverage um, or she doesn't even have to be full coverage doesn't even have to be fully covered but not just a brassiere or a bodice maybe or a bra maybe something more like um, a t-shirt or a vest top something just covering her a little more this is just screams cheerleader more than anything but I'm not gonna fault the man for his art because this is beautiful so articulation heads on a ball joint so you get some up and down movement and then left and right and the good thing about harley as opposed to some of the other female characters because her hair doesn't come all the way down her back you can move her head all the way not that you'd want to but you can it's an option um the bells on her neck they are attached they're not separate so you can't move those she has a ball joint in the shoulder so she gets about oh what's that about 70 degrees out of that and then about 65 degrees from her right arm for some reason. She gets one elbow. Oh, that's very, very tight. Hold up. Right. So we get one click from her right arm and we get, oh, I, I don't want to bend that. That's really tight. I think they may have, yeah, I think the paint may have dried over that. I'm not going to try and bend that because that might snap. You get some wrist articulation, you get, oh, she's got waist articulation. I heard a snap, so that was tight. Uh, you get leg movement, and unlike the previous Harley figures, her butt is um, the top of her leg. So they've added the butt to the thigh, so her leg does go back a little bit. Not majorly, but enough for you to get some movement from it. And the same with the groin area in the front. It's mostly on the leg. So the legs go forward and again a little bit. Um, 
the whole left side of her is incredibly tight that leg is not moving and again i don't want to force it because if that pops out i'm going to cry <laughs> she has no thigh movements she has one clip for the knee both knees so both knees move and no articulation in the ankle so these, these are bare bones limited for articulation but you don't buy these for the articulation you buy these to display in these amazing in, with all these amazing designs so yeah that's really tight i don't know why um look how awesome her boots are i just i just really like those boots they remind me of um supergirl's boots when she's got her white t-shirt the linda danza supergirl the go go boots i really like that she also comes with this it's really weird because this is a basic hammer but it's also really well detailed it's like a an oxymoron somehow but it looks really cartoony and basic but when you look closer there are there are grooves and there are dents in the wood and i mean it's it's a really good hammer but unfortunately because we can't bend her arm if i pop it in her hand ooh. oh my oh my i think i've just snapped her thumb off no. Ooh, I don't like that. Her hand isn't great for holding this hammer. I don't... I... Ooh. Yeah, I wouldn't put that in and out many times. So without the articulation in the elbow there, it's really tight. I might be able to loosen it if I, if I steamed it or maybe soaked her in some warm water. I could probably get that to move. But for now she'll stand like that with her hammer in her hand maybe giving a little wave oh no so you can't really do anything major with the other hand you can have a sort of waving like she's i don't know i would have her like this hammer in hand um they do come with holes in the feet for a stand but they don't come with stands which is super annoying because they make you buy them separately um i'll have to dig out some stands from some old figures somewhere i've got a bag of them in the garage but this is the dc designer series harlequin darwin cook oh it's, it's so beautiful it's so beautiful look at the detail on i mean I, I know i don't like the bodice but it's got a zip going down the middle it's got wrinkles on the back i mean all the belt loops he's done it's just it's just fantastic the designer series i think i prefer them over the icons because the icons they although they have more articulation these to me have more detail and just more care given i really love that face really love that okay so i'm gonna stop some otherwise i'm just gonna sit here and play with this for like an hour and just like talk about how gorgeous it is so i'm gonna leave you there if you've watched thank you very much you can find me on facebook and twitter at dawn of comics um, um you can check out my other stuff i do quizzes with some other fellow um youtubers that's a bit of a laugh we enjoy that and um yeah until next time take care and stay safe